Welcome back to Classless Chaps. I'm Phoebe. I'm Maddie. We just got back from basically a family reunion in LA, which was so fun. We were there for like two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. And it felt like we've been gone for like three months. No, it really has. Especially because I feel like it's spring now. Like we left when it was winter and now it's spring. That's so true. You know? I noticed that just today when I was like running errands. I was like, "I'm, I'm not even cold. I forgot that like it was cold here before spring has sprung because it was warm in LA pretty much but yeah (laughs) we have some funny stories to tell yeah (laughs) from our time there oh my god dude it was so fun Mm -hmm. like despite I don't know I feel like I'm about to like shit on all of our experiences but we had so much we had so much fun I feel like the thing about our family is like when something sucks Mm -hmm. we like have a lot of fun yeah making making fun fun of of it 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 almost makes it more fun than if it was like actually fun yeah right (laughs) exactly yeah yeah do you do you want to talk about the tour first yeah okay so one of the first things we did so just like to paint the picture we had Mm -hmm. us Mm -hmm. our mom and her boyfriend and our other sister Callie and her husband and her kids and her kids are younger like elementary school age Mm -hmm. and so it was their first time in LA and so we were kind of doing LA things yeah tourist things tourist things so we did this Hollywood bus tour thing and it was just like so classic. Like I don't know why I was expecting it to be like bougie. Like I was well, expecting because, like London vibes, a double decker yes. bus with us like in fancy sunglasses. Like mm. well, because it was described as an open air bus, which yeah. it was. <laughs> <laughs> but we thought it was gonna be like sitting on the top deck of a giant bus, yeah. and like I don't know. <laughs> we thought it was gonna, we, we just was. thought it was gonna be like um, nicer. Yeah, and. It was so... Well, can I just tell my experience, like, okay. arriving yeah. there? I I don't... I forget. I think I felt ill that day. I was getting, like, yeah. a migraine or something, and I so I almost didn't go. But I went because all of our family was there. I wanted to, like, spend time with everyone, obviously. And so we, like, get out of... We park, and we get out of the car, and we're, like, looking for the place. And we're, like, where is it? And then... As we're, like, walking, trying to find it, there's this guy being, like, so obnoxious on the corner of, like, one of the streets in like Hollywood. Like, picture in um, Vegas when, like, there are guys on the side of, like, clubs, like, throwing out brochures and screaming at you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happened. And then <laughs> we were like, oh, no, thank you. Or, like, just, like, didn't really <laughs> acknowledge him. And then we looked at maps and John was like, well, it says that we're here. <laughs> And there's, like, this little stand outside of that, like, building that the guy was by that said Hollywood bus tours. And I was like, I fear that this is it. I fear we've arrived. I fear we have arrived. (laughs) And then we, like, go inside to pee. Mm -hmm. And it basically looks like a gas station, but, like, not as nice. Like, the bathroom (laughs) was so shit. It was just, like, like a touristy place where you get, like, keychains with your name on it. Keychains for $15, exactly, with names on it. That's all it was in there. Yeah. keychains and, like, t-shirts and stuff. Which is fine. Like, it's obviously a touristy yeah. bus company. Yeah. But it was just, like, kind of ratch. It was, like, the was street. Fine. It was on the street where all the stars are, which yeah, is... Yeah, what is that? Ro- no, not Rodeo. Not <laughs> Rodeo Drive. The picture the opposite of Rodeo Drive. I can't I remember. I totally forget, too. But it's just the kind of thing where you picture it as, like, oh, my God, all the stars, you know, like, and so mm-hmm. you picture it to be, like, really pretty, and it's so I had heard rough. that that area was shiz, but yeah. anyway, and so then... We're like waiting for our bus because <laughs> we got there early. And then this like pink beaten down like mini bus rolls in <laughs> that basically just looks like a normal pink mini bus yeah. with all the windows broken out of it. Yeah. Like that's exactly what it, it was open air because it just lacked windows. Yeah, exactly. And I said, I fear that that's our bus. <laughs> and it was. And it was like, fine. We piled on and then the tour began. This man, first of all, just loved the sound of his own voice. I think, I like, how do I even describe his vibe? Like, failed actor unfortunately unfortunately so sorry but like but like like old washed up want want to be actor that never made it 
Yeah, but like that kind of sounds mean because like <laughs> a failed actor in Hollywood, like it's hard yeah. to make it as an actor 100%. in Hollywood. Yeah, but he, the way that he was being about it was like really playing up the things that he did do. Yeah. And then, yeah, basically lying. lying. <laughs> We're pretty sure. So the point of the whole tour was to go see um, like in the Hollywood Hills celebrities homes and he would like point out who lived where or whatever Uh uh-huh and in my head it was like oh my god we're gonna like drive by jennifer aniston's house or like we're gonna like drive by some like cool people's houses yeah and it was all like well jennifer garner used to live here Uh like jennifer you know yeah well i'll (laughs) (laughs) what's our our line yeah what so a couple things he would be like so that gate, do you see the gate, like, right there? And we're like, yeah. He's like, that gate goes to the guest house of right. Bruno Mars's producer. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> he pointed out one. He was like, this is where I was driving once. And <laughs> this Michael, is Jackson, my, yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson got killed on this street. Or not got killed. They died on this street. Yeah. And they, like closed the street so they could like investigate anyone that was in like a certain radius of it so he was telling that story which is like kind of a cool story yeah. if he was there i don't know and but then like all of the houses were just like that yeah it was like, like this person's producer that you've never heard of or exactly. this person like might as well have been like jennifer this is where jennifer aniston's housekeeper lives <laughs> yeah right and like there was like a couple cool ones that were, like he pointed out mm-hmm. Quentin Tarantino's house, but you couldn't see it. Yeah, you like, couldn't see it's it. It's just like these are all private trees. homes of exactly. famous people. And like, I can't say I was like that excited to see celebrities' homes because no. it just makes you feel weird when you're like old yeah. enough to be like, this is weird. Yeah, like it's literally just another human being, and we're like, like the oh world my God. is weird. Yeah, yeah. And but I was like, this will be fun. Like we have Levi and Jude, our yeah, exactly. nephews, and like. And they also did talk about like I thought there was going to be more of this is where X was filmed, right? Which I think is really cool. way cooler. We went to the Warner Brothers um, studio lot, studio lot, and I thought that was so. It was cool. so cool. The tour was like so well done. Again, yeah. like. I don't get that excited about touristy things, but that was so much fun. It was really fun. fun because I like seeing like, you know, if you watch like Gilmore Girls are like, what was? Friends. Uh, friends. Yeah. Yeah. They show you like an exact spot where like a scene was filmed and you really recognize it. Yeah. I don't know why. I just think that's so cool. But anyway, yeah. I thought there was going to be more of that. Mm-hmm. And it was just people's houses. So then like. And we yeah. also think he was lying to us because yeah. there were a few moments where he was like, and this is Oprah's house. And some lady on the tour was like, doesn't Oprah live in New York or like yeah. whatever? She was, was like, like, no, like, it's not. <laughs> yeah, people just like every once in a while, what this one lady who seemed to know what was up was like, nah, uh like, yeah. no, it's not. Yeah. And we would be like, and he'd just go, oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, he wasn't like, well, yeah, she lives there, but this is her second house. Like, she, yeah. he had no explanation. He, tried he, to was, just, he was just like. Oh, yeah. how is she? Oh, huh. oh. <laughs> like he d- he's not like up to date on things. Yeah, like exactly. I have a feeling it wasn't all lies, but it, like maybe fifteen years outdated information. Yeah. Well, then, and one of the other things he said, he like because we drove up the like mountain or whatever where you could see the Hollywood sign from like I don't know across the way. Yeah, and he was like. Every year on April 20th, some guy climbs up there in the middle of the night and change, changes it to say Hollyweed and no one can ever catch him. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> You'll see it this year, whatever. And after the tour, we Googled it. It happened once in 1976. <laughs> And then, like, maybe someone again, did it like, again. in, 2008 or something like that. And people very much know who did it. Like, there's an article yeah, about the guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he was just really stretching the truth. Yeah. It was and then so he funny. also was, like, he kept cracking jokes. Like, I kind of feel like we were just a test audience for his comedic material. Yes. And he said that he was the runner-up on Last Comic Standing four years ago. And so when we started to get suspicious of him, we Googled that. That show has not aired for, like, 10 years or something. <laughs> And we typed in his name, like his first name, not a single yeah. contestant was like in the top whatever with that name. Like we could not find evidence That's of that so anywhere. And so some of the other things that he said he did, like he said, who, who's the um, comic that he said he used to live with? He l- literally said he used to live with Chris Rock. Yeah. Right? Was it Chris Rock? Yes. He said he used yeah. to live with Chris Rock and then the Illuminati. <laughs> 
<laughs> and like, okay, maybe Illuminati is slang for like some conspiracy that's maybe. going on in Hollywood. But he was uh, talking about this group of like um, a list, like high up celebrities that basically controls who gets they famous. Are the puppet masters? They're the puppet who masters pick of who all succeeds. of Hollywood and pick who succeeds. And yeah. he was like, I lived with Chris Rock, and then he just disappeared. Look what happened. The Illuminati got him. They chose <laughs> him. Why do you think he would have rose to fame that fast? What's so special about him? Blah blah blah. Yeah, you're like. Well, you're like, well, he's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a really uh, good actor. <laughs> yeah. And then by the end of the tour, and it was freezing by, like, the only freezing and rainy oh, day of the yeah, tour. Yeah, it was raining on us. It was raining on us. Windows. He pulled up, we pulled up to a gas station and he was like, okay, you guys can all go get some hot chocolate. And we were like, <laughs> Honestly, the best part of the tour yeah. was pulling the up to a gas station. The boys were like, yes. Yeah, yeah. They were so was, bored the whole time, bless their hearts. Yeah, I know. And so, yeah, I was sipping on my hot chocolate. And so then funny. He was talking, he's, the back half of the tour, he lost material. Oh like, my God. He went off script and he, he should not I have think he script. went, he made a wrong turn or something. Or like extended? What happened? No, we extended it because extended it was supposed it. to be a two-hour long tour, which already is kind of a long time. Yeah, and, and it's then definitely he two was and like, hours. someone, some like lady asked a question. He was like, "Oh well, blah 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 is back there. Like, do you want to go see it? Like, I don't mind adding some extra time." And she was like, "Yeah," and we were like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and so he turned around and like went, he extended yeah. the tour basically. And then on the way back, there was nothing to see because we were just going back. And so he was just saying, he went off script. Shit. He, he, at one point, he was like, my, well, my daughter's dating an NBA player. And, you know, she he said, she said that he is um, cheating on her. But I'm like, mm, where's the proof? Because this guy's buying us a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we're like, um that's yeah that, that's questionable yeah he was unhinged he was saying some offensive things i forget what else he was saying oh there we pulled up literally oh my god this one actually oh was bad god, yeah. we, we're pulling up one of the like fancy ass streets and there was like a cute family getting out of their car oh, this isn't even the one i was thinking oh. of and the and he is like just waiting for them to pass so that he can then like cross over or whatever uh-huh. and he's like these girls must be from Utah. Like, keep in mind, we're five feet from them and the bus and is the, open air. Yeah. Like, he's screaming this into a microphone because it's cold <laughs> out and they were wearing shorts. That's why yeah. he was like, these girls must be from Utah. Must be from Utah. No, I think he was saying it because of like the way they looked. Like, they just looked, oh, they were giving okay. like Utah mom. Like, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know. Either way, it's rude. <laughs> but and, he said that. And, and then, then the lady behind him is screaming, oh, they are not from Utah. Like, not with those that, shorts not they're with, wearing. <laughs> not with that short skirt. And I was like, oh my God. And like, the, they can hear us, I promise. They it were was so, so close. The one that I was thinking of, which is debatably what, much worse, is that we were driving back to like drop the bus off or whatever and leave. <gasps> and um, we drove by a street with like a lot of homeless people set up with their tents right outside. And we were stopped at a red light. So we were right next to them. And he goes, oh my gosh. I mean, I lived on the street for a couple months, so I can say this, but they need to just keep their stuff cleaner. Like he was like, the least they can do the is, least they can is do. keep a bit cleaner. Yeah. We're like, pardon? Pardon. No. Even if you, I don't care if you really were homeless living in a tent on the street for two months. You are not, don't still not allowed that. to have that take. Yeah. And don't scream that off the bus where a bunch of us are sitting and we're right. like, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it yeah, was so was bad. Rough. He was so unhinged. Yeah, and then um, we left, and Jude, who's like six years old, was like, "What was he saying?" <laughs> After two hours with him, he's yeah. like, "What was that guy like, saying?" I have no idea what that guy was saying. Yeah, <laughs> that guy made no sense. <laughs> I mean, no sense. <laughs> Yeah, poor Levi just like fell asleep on my lap for the last 30 minutes. Yeah, bless his like, heart. I got my hot chocolate. Yeah. yeah or no, so that was Jude. That was Jude. Yeah. But anyway, so that was the bus tour. That was the bus <laughs> tour. Um, Two days later, we went to Universal which Studios. Which was actually fun. So fun. Like, I thought that was really fun. Uh-huh. But we were like just thinking about, I don't know, society. When you go to places like that, you really start to think about society. society. And go ahead. Particularly because, well, this is what, this was like the main thing that I wanted to talk about. Okay. So we get there, we wait in line for God knows how long. We have like fast passes and stuff. Yeah. Our sister prepared so well 
It was amazing. Yeah. And so we go on the first little like Mario Kart ride. It was cute. You wore like, um, what are the goggles called? That like Basically overlay. Basically AR glasses. AR. Um, yeah. AR. Okay. Or VR. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. They like, you saw real life, but then you also saw like things yeah. overlaid. So it was basically AR. like a Mario Kart simulation where you were like going through the ride, but then you could like throw shit at people virtually. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. Not, not people, characters. Characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not other pedestrians. Yeah. Or another, and other then, riders. So you're wearing this like massive headset. And then we got off and we were like, all right, like me and Maddie wanted to do like some grown up rides. <laughs> And so the we, real seekers. Yeah. And so the first thing that we came across that had like a shorter line was the Transformers, whatever. Yeah. And we went on that and that was one where you just like sat in this little pod kind of thing. Yeah. And um I don't think you had goggles, but like you it was basically a ride simulation. Yeah. Like it was simulating that you were like flying through the city and there's like wind in your hair and you're being like knocked about and there's like basically an IMAX movie screen in front of you. Yeah. And then your like pod will like kind of move and shift to a different IMAX movie screen. And like they made it feel pretty realistic Mm -hmm. and so I was like that's so cool like that was the first time I had done anything like that I was like that was actually sick it actually felt like you were moving when you were supposed to be like nose diving into the city it felt like that like it was really cool cool but nauseating cool but nauseating exactly yeah and then we got off and then we get in line for another ride same exact thing yeah more nauseating I felt like like this throw up these rides like they take up like probably just one building. The si- yeah, the size of this it's house. It's just like one indoor building. One building. Because it, it bar- the thing barely moves. It barely moves. It yeah. just is like feeling like it's moving because of the images. Yeah, and all the, the stuff wind. around you. And like some of them you put on AR goggles. Some yeah. of them you put on 3D glasses, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We went to Harry Potter World. The ride was the same thing. And then, so Maddie and I are like, we want to go on a roller coaster. We want a roller coaster. So we looked at Universal. There are like 12 quote rides at universal nine of them are a simulation of a ride yeah we were pissed one of them was like a kid roller coaster Mm -hmm. one of them was a water ride that we went on even though it was cold because we wanted to and that was fun yeah Yeah, and then the other one oh yeah the mummy or whatever that was like fun but no 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 the mummy one was the one we went on with levi and he was like oh my god yeah that one was fun but scary yeah that one was fun but scary but still comparing it to like Kennywood. I don't know if any of you guys are from Pittsburgh. Probably a lot of you actually <laughs> at this point. They like none of the rides. Kennywood's were... like a very like not famous. Yeah. Like it's just a Pittsburgh native amusement park. Yeah. And, and it still had 10 times better rides. Exactly. Like even the mummy ride was like part indoor, part yeah. simulation. And then it like had one outdoor roller coaster part. And then it, it, it was literally not- went to the end and it just went backwards. So it's like they didn't yeah. even have to make like the rest yeah. of the ride. They were just like, okay, now to save room. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. This, we're just going to go backwards. Yeah, because it's not like, it's not nearly as big as like Disneyland. I mean, it's as big no. as Kennywood though. I don't know. It's, it's probably just- as big as Kennywood, but they just have, they create more of a scenery, which was like the coolest part about it. It's like uh-huh. Harry Potter world. It feels like, kind of feels like you're immersed in it same with like the mario thing it's like same concept as disney world yeah it's like immersing you in all of the movies exactly and stuff. but a lot smaller a lot smaller and it just became very clear that like they just it's way easier to cram in way more exactly. stuff if you just like make everything a simulation yeah which was making us so sad because i'm such a roller coaster girly yeah and it's like it's cool for some of those movies to like feel like you're riding the broomstick or whatever the fuck but to go to an amusement park and it just be a simulation of a ride yeah like actually what i'm not on board no i'm absolutely not on board i it's like yeah like i will give universal a pass because they are kind of I don't know even if I would. What I was going to say is, but I'm going to be so pissed if, like, in the future, that's what amusement parks are. Right. Like, like at least out hope they just have, do... like, it's movie scenes and that's why yeah. they're doing it. Exactly. But if every, like, roller coaster turns into a simulation of a roller coaster, I'm going to be absolutely livid. Absolutely livid. Yeah. It didn't, like, fill 
the like needs that I mm. no we went in there we went in there like we want thrills yeah and we didn't come out satisfied yeah not in that way it was fun in other ways it was fun because of the kids exactly that's why it was fun not to mention you know those like little games Mm -hmm. that you like usually don't play at least we never would like stop and play those games where you like throw a wiffle ball into like a cup or like squirt water into whatever because it's just like usually wasted money and stuff yeah to play once was fifteen dollars a person to get like five wiffle balls that so, you get to throw? Yeah, fifteen dollars. It's highway robbery. It's highway robbery. <laughs> I was like so shocked by that. Yeah, no, I because John too. went up and was like two buckets or whatever yeah. for Levi and Jude, and the lady was like thirty two, blah blah blah, and I was like, pardon, sorry, that like shocked me. It's like three dollars a ball. Yeah insane three dollars to throw something yeah five feet away absolutely insane yeah and they can get away with it because your kids running around like oh my gosh i want to play this i want to play this and they like sit down like because on those games you can like sit down yeah and like a kid thinks they can just play they don't understand money Mm -hmm. and so they like sit down and they're like let's do it and then by the time you catch up to them it's like oh god (laughs) yeah they really want to do this yeah you don't want to turn them away no but i i did yeah (laughs) after we played that one game i was like okay guys let's go over here yeah like yeah i'm not doing this and like I thought that the model of those things were, like, they're really hard to win. Right. And so, like, eventually the prizes pay for themselves or whatever for, like, the park. Like, right. eventually, you know. But this time, one attempt pays for the stuffed animal already. Or five stuffed animals. But, no, but, like, even if... Well, yeah, cost of production. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, you could buy one of those stuffed animals for $15. Like, whereas, from the gift shop. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas before, like... It was $1 a play. And mm-hmm. like, if you got it first try, it's like, oh, I want exactly. a stuffed animal. But this time, if you got it first try, it's just, oh, I bought a stuffed animal. I bought a stuffed animal. Yeah. Yeah. You're not winning it because you've already overpaid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Such a bummer. Going to amusement parks as an adult. No, I don't think it's like, I don't think that's the issue. Yeah. I think it's just the direction that they're going with it. Oh. Uh. Yeah, so but sad. it did make me really want to go to Kennywood. Kennywood. Me too. Yeah. Well, I tried to fulfill this desire like two years ago. CJ and I tried to go to Six Flags. Yeah. Um, and we spent the whole day there and rode two rides. You're I kid joking. you not because of the lines. Yeah. <gasps> okay. So wait, that brings me to the topic of this episode. If you're ready to dive in, I'm ready. We wanted to talk about things that are worth the splurge. Uh-huh things the finer things in life yeah when you're not rolling in it Mm -hmm. what is worth what's worth it what like do you spend money on and it makes you feel yeah wealthy exactly on top of the world yes yeah and one of the things on my list is like fast passes for amusement parks yeah because we felt like royalty at universal it was ridiculous a passed up Hours and hours and hours of lines. Yes. Just got right on. Yeah. It was wild. I don't know if it's like that at most amusement parks because I know a lot of people get fast passes. Yeah, I know. I I thought we'd have to wait in line for at least like 20 minutes. Same. We passed like the line would be two hours long and we would just get right on. Literally get right on. And I don't care if the fast pass is as much as the actual ticket, like if it doubles your no, price, because, because it more than doubles the amount it of rides, more than doubles the amount of rides, go once and buy the fast pass yeah. rather than twice. Then going twice in your lifetime. Yeah. 100%. I feel the same about Disney. Like literally, even if it's more than double, mm-hmm. like if the ticket's $200, mm-hmm. I don't know, probably a lot of money. That's a lot. <laughs> but like the principle of it. Exactly. Like, like you you might feel like oh that's so much extra to pay, but, but you like, might as well not go if you're barely exactly. gonna ride. You literally may as well not go. Yeah, we would not have ridden anything. No, if we didn't get them. No, I'm getting out my notes because okay. I've I have I'm, a list. Maddie has her iPad and I have a ripped out piece of paper from. <laughs> oh my gosh! But yeah, like they were just so worth it. It's insane, and I'm glad. Like. I just learned this. Mm-hmm. I, I've not always done this fast mm-hmm. pass thing. I don't think I've ever gotten a fast pass before. Like I haven't been to Disney 
in a really long time. But I'm uh-huh. glad that I learned this lesson. Yeah. Because now, next time I go anywhere, I'm totally Oh my gosh. And I actually breath. think you can get them at Kennywood. Really? Niche topic. I think you get them like per ride, perhaps. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Because some people will do it just for like Phantom's Revenge. Yeah. Or just for like the one where you fall from the sky. Yeah. I want to go so bad. I know, I and do I want to go with our nephews that would be Same. so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do one of yours? Okay. Well, this is new to me. Okay. And maybe it was on your list as well. Cause like when we had the idea for this episode, yes. it was while we were at tea. Yes. This was my next one. Yeah. So we can discuss. Okay. Together. Us and my mom and her mom. So our grandma, the four of us went to tea at the Huntington, which was like, which this is like beautiful garden yeah. in LA or outside of LA, Pasadena. No, I don't know where it is. Doesn't mm, matter. Near Pasadena. Yeah. I had never been to like actual tea before. It's everything. It was everything. And like, I forget why we were all kind of cranky before driving there. Well, like it was something. Raining. Yeah, it was raining. So we didn't get to see the gardens that much, whatever. Yeah. It was like cold. Oh, I had broken my toe or something. So I like couldn't walk around the gardens. Mm-hmm. Sprained my toe, whatever. <laughs> and so we got there. Oh, yeah. And then we get there and they're like, oh, we don't have you down for a reservation. Yeah, the reservation. And it takes like months to get a reservation. So we were like, you're fucking kidding yeah, me. Yeah, it was confusing. It was confusing. It. But then we got sat. And as soon as they brought that tea in the first round of scones, oh. I was living. It's everything. It was everything. Yeah. Afternoon tea is Jake and my thing. We have probably done like 10 or 12 crazies like that in our Mm -hmm. time together it is so fun yeah like i don't know if it's because i like mini things Uh and they like bring mini sandwiches and mini desserts the three tiered plate Mm -hmm. platter thing is just so cute i love tea i don't drink coffee Mm -hmm. and they always have so also i don't really do caffeine so like they always have a lot of herbal teas that I can choose from. It's not just like when you go to a coffee shop, you still, usually have like one choice. Yeah. And it's like chamomile. And it's like, okay. Yeah. I'm going it's to Earl bed. Grey and it's mint. Yeah, exactly. But they just have so many. Like I got caramelized pear. Are you Amazing. Kidding? Our grandma got apple pie. Mm-hmm. I got chocolate peppermint. Mm-hmm. Mom got pumpkin chai or like something like that. It was so good. We all picked from just the like tea dessert girly. tea yeah. column. We did. And you get, like, unlimited pours. Like, they'll uh-huh. just, like, just come back and water. keep bringing your hot water and, like, infusing your tea or whatever. Mm-hmm. So you have tea the whole time. You can share each other's. You feel fancy as fuck. Uh-huh. They brought, sco- like, mini the scones. scones. Like, mini scones of different flavors. Yeah. So you can eat multiple. And then they bring the three-tier thing with all the, like, like six different types of mini sandwiches. Yeah. A bunch of different kinds of desserts and pastries, just like mini ones. Yeah. So you can eat all of them. It's everything. Yeah, that's what I love too. It's like a tasting. It's almost like a tasting yeah. thing because they're all little, but there are so many different things. Yeah. That's it's my favorite so part fun. about going out to eat is like Same. just getting, getting tons of things and everyone stuff. shares. Me too. That's yeah. my favorite. And it was just so like for the girls. Yes. It was everything. Yes. So cute. It was so cute. And the fact that it was at a garden. Yeah. Are you joking? Like So you it was like so big pretty. windows, you can see out the garden. Like it was so yeah. pretty. What's on your list? Okay. <laughs> Taking a little turn. Socks. Oh <laughs> socks. Socks for me are worth the splurge. Love that. I hate when my socks get holes in them Uh and like every sock is eventually gonna get a hole in it but like Mm -hmm. i hate when socks are like thin i'm wearing my favorite socks right now these are from madewell they're the like mwl the madewell ones are really good they're They're everything Mm -hmm. i buy those and i buy bombas and that is all yeah i thought you were gonna talk about bombas yeah i ordered a three pack of ralph lauren socks because this was like this was last year when yeah. it was just the cutest thing ever to have your platform mugs and then ralph lauren socks stick it out yes. with like the bear on them. i still I was like, like it's ah. cute it is cute and so i bought a three pack of ralph lauren socks thinnest thing ever one came with a hole in them You're and the joking. other two got holes in them literally the first <gasps> time i wore them i was like ralph <laughs> ralph has done us dirty yeah no Mm-mm. i need a thick sock and i don't yeah. mean like a fuzzy sock because i hate fuzzy socks yeah wait i you mean- teased you teased 
that you were going to talk about. But the there's not podcast. much to say. I just hate them. Okay. I hate how, okay, it's kind of the same with like thin socks. If I have a sock on my foot, I don't want it to move. Yeah. I want it to just be tight. Okay. Thick. If it's too thin, it's gonna like Moves move around, around when yeah. I walk. And, and if it's your too, toes. yeah, mm-hmm. no. And if it's too fuzzy, it's gonna move around when I walk. And yeah. I also hate when like the fuzzies come out and go all over yeah. my floor. I'm like, yeah, fuzzy socks as well. I feel like you get like space. It, they stretch, and then you get the space above your toes, and you have to pull them up all the time. Yeah, exactly. I agree with that. I like wearing fuzzy socks around the house. There have been a couple times where I have committed the sin of putting on shoes over top of fuzzy socks that's disgusting that's disgusting yeah <laughs> that's so gross. there's not a worse feeling oh <laughs> yeah it's bad okay socks love yeah. that um okay <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one i immediately thought of paying for the first class lounge at an airport only Good sometimes one. but oh, you guys i'm not talking about like the first class seat is worth the splurge. No, first class seat is fucking life changing, but it's not worth it's the splurge. N- yeah, it's like, like, nothing it's will ever be worth the prohibitive. Of money. Yeah, <laughs> we've both had the pleasure of getting to ride first class like to Australia. Or mm-hmm. no, you didn't ride. I don't know. Um, I did to Hawaii. To Hawaii, and I got to go to Australia. Not on my dime. Not on my dime either. Yeah, we had a hookup from someone with a lot of American Airlines yeah. points, <laughs> and it was life-changing because i've done that flight i think i calculated like 18 times i've done the flight from la to australia or vice versa yeah and it's like 15 hours long so it's a long one and i have back problems as well (laughs) and getting to just lay down go on a flight lay all the way down they give you like a nicer pillow and blanket they give you nicer meals but i don't even give a shit about that it's just the being able they give you oh God. I didn't even drink the champagne, but they give but it But it's fun. Yeah. No, I don't drink champagne, but I drank the champagne because I said this is everything. Yeah. And yeah, getting to get on the plane, take drugs, <laughs> lay down, wake up, and you're like an hour from being or life even, changing. Even if you're five hours, you're like, perfect. Two more movies. Like, yeah. It's just like you're on your couch. Exactly. You're, you're not like uncomfortable, especially no. if you're on drugs at the same time. Yeah. I don't even take drugs on the plane. Yeah. And it's, it's everything. so comfy. Because I've I've sat like all tears on okay. the long flights because I've done like economy, like the worst budget you can mm-hmm. have, whatever. And I've done like extra leg room. I've done right. exit rows. I've like experimented with what's worth the splurge. And I'll tell you when you are in so much like pain from curling up into a ball and like you're trying to change positions your neck's like this sleeping Mm -hmm. but like your pillow on your neck like it doesn't actually really support your head so you're always laying down like that the pillow is falling everywhere you can't lie back that Mm -hmm. much you fall asleep for five minutes you wake up you're still whatever even if you take drugs you're still you're so so uncomfortable. uncomfortable you're exhausted yeah but you're so uncomfortable so it's like almost worse yeah. and then you're like pulling the tray table down trying to like bend over enough to lay on the tray table it's awful so bad. you wake up in pain i'm in you pain feel just like thinking about this. you feel like you've like slept for so long and it's been four hours and you're yeah. so uncomfortable and you have 11 left yeah, like no there's nothing worse no it's, it's so bad horrible so that wasn't <laughs> what I was going to talk about. too poor to sit first class. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to be that poor to not be able to sit first class. It's ridiculous. Like, because I, I looked into it and like flights from here to Australia normally are like around the thousand yeah. dollar mark. Yeah. And when I first moved there, I was like, even if it's double, it might be worth it because my back, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I look. I'm like expecting it to be two thousand twenty five hundred yeah. at the most because a normal ticket's a thousand dollars, ten thousand. <gasps> I'm not kidding. During COVID, first class flights were above ten thousand, and it's that's not uncommon. They still are around that. It's insane. It's crazy. So like, not only are they not worth the splurge, but like, I could not. You couldn't ever. Most people could if never I afford that. Saved up ten thousand dollars and then ended up spending and then it on spent that? it on one flight. Fourteen hours of my life that oh, would pass no matter what. Exactly. That's the thing. That Time hurts. passes no matter what. Yeah. It's not worth the splurge, but no. I can tell you what is worth the splurge, tell us. and it's 
getting access to the lounge, particularly if you have a long layover. If you yeah. don't, if you're flying domestically and you get to the airport and you just like have a half yeah, an hour. Yeah, no, no, that doesn't matter. No. But when you have like a four or five hour long layover before a really long flight. Yeah. So I've done this like. I've flown to Fiji from Australia, which is like a two and a half hour flight. And then I'll have a four or five hour layover in Fiji Mm -hmm. and then a like 12 hour flight to LA. And so it's a long layover, but you're, it's also just like knowing you have the long flight coming up. Cause if you're in the airport sitting in like uncomfortable airport chairs for four or five hours, already uncomfortable. Yeah. And then you have to get on a 12 hour flight awful and especially that airport only has like pf changs and one other fast food chain whatever and like when you're there for four or five hours you're gonna eat like two or three meals at least i am yeah oh my god i have food anxiety when it comes to oh my gosh me too bad like i'm terrified that i'm gonna get so hungry and die yeah no i over prepare as well yeah and so i decided to look how oh and the the one time that i was in first class i was flying through Fiji. So I got to you use the lounge. You automatically get the lounge. Yeah. And I was like, this is everything. But you don't have to be flying first class. Exactly. But I'm the saying lounge. the first time I no, discovered the lounge, I was in first class and that's why I went. Yeah. And they had a full buffet of like authentic Fijian food with an authentic Fijian chef. Oh my God. And like bartenders that would like ask you if you needed anything. They had like desserts, like parfaits and cakes and everything. It was so, like the food was so good. I want to go there now. And they had really comfy couch- couches you could like lie all the way down on. They had beautiful tables. They had showers. Like, and I'm not just saying like you walk into a, like almost like a pool shower where yeah, you like, like walk in, in there. But yeah, exactly. No, you get a key, you like, put your name down and they like call you when the shower is ready you get a key you go in it's like a massive hotel bathroom that you just lock behind you That's especially so nice. because planes make you feel disgusting yes so to be able to shower right before your yeah. long flight oh is everything God. and like so my system would be i would pack two outfits i'd wear my like comfies on the first flight mm-hmm. i'd get to the first class lounge i would get all of my food have my like first meal yeah i'd hang out for a little go shower put on my even comfiers oh my wow. clean like actual pjs yeah and then eat another meal and then get on the flight That's and everything. yeah it was the best experience ever especially if you're gonna go and then lay down on the plane yeah i know <laughs> but then i sadly wasn't able to get first class <laughs> my gosh and so i was like i wonder if i can just pay to get into the lounge yeah and it was like a hundred something whatever dollar system they use in fiji Mm -hmm. which turned out to be like 45 american dollars and i was like i'm having two meals there at an airport pf chang exactly that's like gonna pay for itself um we almost spent 45 dollars on three spring rolls and a juice. Oh my god! At the LA, at the Burbank airport. Yeah, we got up to the register, and he was like, "Just so you know, <laughs> I had a mini juice, like a mini juice, probably ten ounces of juice." I... And he said, "Just so you know, this is sixteen dollars." And that prompted said, me to be you. like, "How much are these spring rolls?" Yeah, three spring 22. rolls, twenty-two dollars. We said, "No, thank I'm you." Sorry. Bless his heart for for telling us. us. Well, there were no prices on anything, so yeah. you fucking better. Yeah, that was awful. So anyway, point is, more than worth it. That concludes my first class lounge chapter. Amazing. My next thing is bedding. <gasps> I had sheets. You had sheets? I had okay, sheets, we're yeah. in agreement on this? Yeah. Yeah, bedding is everything. And like, not only is it just so important because it needs to be comfy, but when you kind of invest in bedding, she, I'm talking sheets, pillowcases pillows Mm -hmm. duvet quilt whatever you're going to get if you invest in them they last forever jake and i since we moved in together which was going on six years ago have been using the same bedding yeah i feel like that's kind of a long time yeah and it just gets comfier with like wear yeah and it's from everyone always asks um like anyone who comes over to our house always all of you guys have been asking (laughs) i know that's what i meant everyone who comes to the house asks what our bedding is and it's parachute but from six years ago and so i don't actually know i ripped tags off like 
immediately when yeah. I buy things. And so I sometimes have a hard time relocating mm-hmm. items. But it's from Parachute. I wish I knew like the material. Like cause it's not silk. It's no. not like the... It's um, just like a quilt, but it's, it's like really... It's really but it's like satin-y. I'm not, sorry, I'm Is talking it? about the sheets. Okay, okay. The okay. sheets. Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, I just, I love the sheets yeah. so much. Mm-hmm. And I think everyone has different preferences when it comes to bedding. But, oh, I just. Also, like, you know a cheap sheet when you sleep in it for, like, yeah. three months. And you wash it and stuff. But you sleep yeah. in it for three months. And then you've got, like, two ovals of, like, dark yeah oil stains from yeah. your body. Disgusting. Disgusting. No one wants that. I'm going to add to that. I had on my thing mattress topper. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily think you need to splurge on a mattress if you're going to get a mattress topper. Like, I guess splurge on a mattress, but if we, you can't afford to splurge on yeah. a mattress, get a mattress and then splurge on a nice mattress topper. That's a good That's one. That's everything. We splurged. I don't know if we even splurged. We went very middle of the road on our mattress, mm-hmm. but we like took a lot of time mm-hmm. to pick the right one. Because like, especially when you sleep with someone else, you have to make sure that both people are like maximum comfs. Yeah. And so we laid on so many mattresses and we love our mattress. You spend a third of your life in bed. In bed. That's, That's what all the advertisers say. And it's yeah, true. well, it's true. Also, um, we both, me and Jake, both use um, weighted blankets worth the splurge, in Mm. my opinion. It depends if you're a weighted blanket girly. Mm -hmm. Like, some people think that they're so claustrophobic, but I love it. Yeah. Ours are hush and, like, gravity. Yeah. And it's just nice to get nice ones Mm -hmm. because you can get, like, a weighted blanket from Target. I even spent the one I just got at Mom's because I literally so high maintenance i went to mom's for two weeks and bought a gravity blanket because i or bought a weighted blanket because yeah. i felt that i needed it mm-hmm. but i bought one for like 60 some dollars at target and even that was not it Interesting. unfortunately like it's fine for like when you're on vacation yeah <laughs> but i would not want that in my everyday yeah. sleeping experience like because it's almost like your second duvet or your uh-huh. second sheet because it touches you yeah. so you not only want it to be like the right weight but you also want it to be like soft, soft. yeah and cozy i'm gonna say my other note is that if you're getting a quilt splurge mm-hmm. if you're getting a duvet and a duvet cover splurge on the duvet cover buy a cheap duvet yeah because the cheap duvets honestly are like softer yeah because i felt expensive ones that are like down and like feather or whatever not down with down 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 with down and they're crunchy exactly dumb i totally agree my favorite kind of duvet is like the the one that's like pre-stuffed i guess this is what we have it's like you don't have to have an insert and a cover Uh it's like thick because it's got like i don't know stuffing is it basically just like a thick quilt or it's like a stuffed like stuffed interesting yeah and we ended up picking it because it's kind of annoying when you have a duvet and you know you tie the edges or whatever but then Uh sometimes it gets like stuck yeah or you know that kind of vibe so yeah those are good yeah i also really like quilts but i like them to be like thick yeah not a thin like yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree for sure. Yeah. Um, was that yours or mine? That was mine. Oh, and yours, but... Uh. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, this should be on your list, but I stole it. Okay. Washer and dryer. Oh. Splurge on that shit. Yes. We were at my mom's. She's renting. She wasn't able to, like, get a new washer and dryer. Yeah. They're old as hell. And they're tiny, and it takes three rounds of running the dryer for your clothes to actually be dry the most annoying thing i actually love doing laundry me too here with your nice washer and dryer yeah they're huge yeah you can stuff so much in there if you want to Mm -hmm. and they're like dry exactly when they the dryer promises yeah exactly it's everything yeah i'll put up on the screen a picture for those who are watching on youtube a picture of ours Mm -hmm. um because i'm also obsessed with them Mm -hmm. We also got them on risers, so we you put them on top of this, like, giant drawer, basically, so extra storage, and you don't have to bend over when you're doing your laundry, which is yes, fucking everything. that is so... Exactly. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. so great. 
and they're pretty colored. Jake picked them out. I have to give Jake so credit. Cute. He completely by himself picked those out. It's adorable. And I, for a while when we were doing our house, I was like, I didn't want anything that looked too modern. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, mm, I don't know. So I was giving him such a hard time about like when we were trying to agree on one. And finally I was like, just pick one. Like I'm being annoying and I yeah. don't want to make this decision. And yeah. I'm so glad he picked the ones that he did because That's so they're cute. everything. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, agreed. Yeah. Completely agreed. My next thing <laughs> is fresh squeezed orange juice. <gasps> I love that. Right? So like. Either when you're going out to a restaurant, usually it's not that expensive if you're going out to breakfast because they Uh give you a very small cup. Yeah. (laughs) But like I'm thinking about it as when I'm at the grocery store and I'm like, I would need to buy 17 fucking oranges to be Mm -hmm. able to make as much juice as I want this week. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it's worth the splurge. Yeah, I agree. It's so good. 1000%. I agree. Uh, And I I hate like, here's the thing. Tell me if you agree with this. I will never drink orange juice out of like oh my god it's not good i don't like it at all it's not good it's almost like a different kind of juice it is it tastes like medicine i hate it yeah i agree Ugh. but fresh it's like oh so so sweet everything Mm. i love that and it's like runnier like it's not as thick yeah i don't like like thick i i don't mind pulp when it's swimming in nice thin juice wait you're so right but like juice out of a thing is like thick and like foamy so right yeah why i don't know because they put shit in it probably yeah or they or they like run it through a juicer like a big juicer Mm. rather than like because the juice like kind of squeezes like the skin too like the white inner skin membrane whatever it's like that which i guess kind of is i don't know but like when you're just squeezing it on a thing where you like twist it it's yeah. just the like inner juice that yes. comes out right like i like i think pulp is like the like it's not the, the white, little nodes then it's the nodes that just haven't been popped <laughs> yeah it's like yeah. just juice but it just it's yes. those things that haven't been it's popped. not the white shit it's not the, the white shit and so yeah. i think you're exactly right i mm-hmm. think what they do i just realized how they make juice i think what they do is they i'm spitting all over the place i'm getting so excited I think they peel the orange. Uh-huh. And, and then, then drop like, them fucking in a blend juicer. it. I mean, I'm sure they don't blend the whole thing or seeds in them, but yeah. like when you put stuff through a juicer, it still has like that like Yeah, I guess it stuff. does. Because it just like grounds it up so yeah, I thin, guess. but that makes it thicker because it's Yeah. not Some just of that juice gets in there. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay. My next one is skincare because it's not necessarily that like expensive skincare always works Mm -hmm. it's more like that it always always works better than cheap skincare yeah it's more just like it's worth it at least to me to when you find skincare that works keep buying it i totally agree even if it's expensive yeah i cannot tell you how close i was to going on accutane and i had tried everything like prescribed skincare non-prescribed skincare the simplest thing like cetaphil or whatever yeah. the most like bougie crazy yeah. chemical-y thing and i just like i don't know it was blessed with this one lady that was like not a dermatologist not an esthetician she was like mm. i forget what she's called whatever who like evaluated my skin and yeah. that was like my last straw mom did not want me to go on accutane because yeah. of your experience with accutane yeah and so she was like I will pay for whatever this lady suggests for you. Like the first time you buy the products, if you don't go on Accutane, I was like, okay. And so I tried it one more time. And what do you know? It worked wonders. And that was when I was 20 years old. So it was like four years ago and I still use the exact same brand today. That's so fun. It's the DMK brand in case you're annoyed that I haven't mentioned it yet. And it's like a weird thing because it's not like medical, like it's not a dermatology prescribed thing Mm -hmm. but you have to like go and get it kind of prescribed like they tell you what products to get and then once you have it i think you can buy any product from their line it's weird i have not figured out why they do it that way but it's like kind of expensive it's not as expensive as like it's not even as expensive as certain stuff you get at sephora yeah it's probably like in australia it was more expensive because it's made in la okay but it's probably like 40 to 50 dollars for the face wash like a hundred or eighty dollars for like the main thing that really works and then like 40 the for serum? this 40 for that whatever uh-huh. so it adds up it's like yeah. probably like a 250 dollar skincare 
How long do you think it lasts you? But it lasts me like six months. Yeah, that's Like nice. I probably only restock twice a year. Yeah. And when I like go traveling and don't bring something with me, with if I stop using it within like a month or two, I start to like really that's notice. Crazy. Yeah. And I can't tell you how much like my mental health is better when my skin's when your perfect. Skin's good. Yeah. And also it's like I completely agree with this. I was gonna put skincare and makeup on my list. And then I was like, I know Phoebe will do that. Yeah. Um it's also like when you know something is like high quality, yeah, you just feel so much better putting it on your face. Yeah. Because like also if you buy something cheap and then you happen to get a pimple unrelated, even like you'll, if you get something cheap and it works for five weeks and then you get a pimple, you're, you're like, like, it's, it's that the gross skincare. stuff that I've been putting on yeah, my skin. hundred percent. Yeah. You just got it. Especially if you're someone like, I think both of us are kind of minimal when it comes to skincare and makeup. Mm-hmm. Like not that we don't wear a ton, but just like I'm not buying like 10 products. Well, and we don't wear skincare. a ton either. No, we really don't. Yeah. But yeah, so I feel like I just bought all new makeup a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It was so fucking expensive. Mm -hmm. I walked out of there like in shock. Yeah. But I hadn't bought new makeup in years. Literally so many years. Yeah. (laughs) And that just goes to show you how little I use. Yeah. So. Because you don't run out of it. So you you don't don't buy more. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. But everything I bought, I was like really intentional. I literally just followed Lindsay Rem's like entire TikTok about her. I don't remember what she called it, like yeah. base, basically her base routine. Yeah. But anyway, I was like, these are the products I want and they're expensive, but these are what I want. Yeah. And you only have to buy them once every couple of years. Literally. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I mean, yeah. If you follow their expiry dates, then you have to buy them more often. But like, no, yeah. everything lasts a year anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Exactly. And it's like, if you wear it, I mean, not that we wear it every day, but if, yeah. it's like part of, it's like the bedding thing. Yeah. If it's something that's part of your, like, basically your daily routine, your daily routine. it's worth it. 100%. It's worth it. Yeah. Because like, it's the same thing with like getting dressed having like nice skin or feeling like you're having a good skin day, feeling like you're good, having good hair day. Yeah. Any of that is just going to make you more confident and Mm -hmm. like start your day better. And it's going to make you have a better day. Unfortunately, it just is. No, it just is. Yeah. 100%. My next one is literally I've done this once. So keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. A boutique hotel for a like special occasion. Fun. So... I for a special occasion. I'm not saying if you're just going any trip, like instead Get a of booking, hotel. yeah, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. But Jake and I for our literal honeymoon, I guess. Like, okay, just really quick, <laughs> we got legally married in my mom's basement. Yeah, just the two of us with our dog as a, our you know witness witness obviously <laughs> like you have to do and so we wanted to plant since we weren't doing a like real wedding with other people mm-hmm. we wanted to do a mini moon and so it was basically just a staycation we went to this boutique hotel in downtown denver um for one night like went out to dinner dressed up really fancy and then stayed the night at this hotel and it's just this like really artsy hotel and it was everything the they came up and brought us like our cocktails to our room like we went (gasps) to dinner and then we were like we specifically picked this hotel because it has a really cool bar Mm -hmm. like cocktail lounge downstairs and then the hotel's like above it and I was like I pictured in my head like we're gonna go get like a cocktail at the cocktail lounge and then just like go up and go to bed like Mm -hmm. how fancy is that so fun we got there and the girl who was like checking me in while Jake was parking the car was like telling me all these things that like we can do or whatever she's like um and there's obviously room service we even like can bring up your cocktails if you want and I was like that's everything. I think that we're going to be needing to do that. Yeah. And so we, like, there was, like, a tiny little table and two comfy chairs, like, to Aww. the side of the bed. And we got to, like, sit there and, like, drink our cocktails yeah, on our so mini cute. moon. It was just so cute. And now every time our, like, any anniversary or special occasion, like, rolls around, I want to do that so bad. So fun. I know. It's really fucking expensive. But for yeah. something like a mini moon. Yeah. 
like a baby moon, a staycation where you're like you were gonna already spend like yeah a thousand dollars or you're whatever. Saving money from not you're saving flying money. exactly so, yeah exactly. And I just think boutique hotels like have such like a vibe and like yeah. an artsy Oh my vibe. gosh, way better vibes than chain hotels. Yeah, like even it's if it's called, a nice chain, right. This one's called The Ramble, and I actually, um, when I was more embedded in the graphic design scene in Denver, um, I went to a talk that, like, featured the interior designers of The Ramble Hotel, Fun. and it just showed, um, they're just a really cool studio that does, yeah. like, a lot of hotel and restaurant design and stuff. And I was just, like, enamored. Like, That's it was so just so fun. fucking cool. And so then to, like, stay there and, like, see yeah. all the little, like, design decisions that they made was yeah. so fun. So Love that. That's my Amazing. Thing. Amazing. My next one is pots and pans. Mm. I have nothing much to say about it other than the nonstick quality. Yeah. Yeah. I would tend to agree. Regular cheap pans that are nonstick work amazingly, like, three times. And then yeah. your entire egg gets lost on the bottom of the pan i'm really waiting to see if those target ones last because mm. so far they've lasted yeah that would but be they're amazing because like they're so the cheap. nicer brand of target they were really cheap oh that's amazing yeah okay well maybe. what's the brand it either starts with an f or a t anyway anyway my next one is oh similar vibe a knife set <gasps> I agree. Yeah. I mean, again, not much to say. You get why. They need Works to be sharp. Better. Works yeah. better. It just makes cooking so much more enjoyable. Yep. My next one. Oh, this is from mom. I casually yeah. told her we were doing this episode. Yeah. She said lighting and hardware for your home. Splurge, like be cheap everywhere else, Facebook Marketplace, everything else. Splurge on the lighting and the hardware. That it's the jewelry so of the home, as they say. That is so true. And I definitely did that in this home. Yeah. All my lighting was like, yikes. The thing. Yeah. But I am so obsessed with it. Yeah. Like, yeah. It really is the actual difference. Yeah. Like, you can paint a room any color. Mm -hmm. And like, the hardware and lighting is going to make it either look like shit or amazing. 100%. Yeah. Love that. This is my last one. Okay. My Smeg Toaster. <gasps> really? Worth yeah. the splurge. For visual purposes or toast purposes? For visual purposes, purposes and toast purposes. Oh. Obviously, it's really pretty. Uh -huh. But it's the one Long. that has two... Instead of having four tiny slots, Yeah, it just has two really long slots. Amazing for like really wide but kind of flat sourdough. Exactly. Yeah. It's just yeah, at user Yeah, at my house, like we would get sourdough from like the bakery part of the grocery store yeah and it'd be like wide and so you'd literally have to put it in vertically toast it and then flip and then it around flip it. and toast it again yeah most the, yeah. fucking toasters are like that and yeah. i don't understand why yeah it is dumb it's so dumb okay i agree that smeg toaster really yeah it's beautiful user experience also. design a plus um oh my next or my last two mm -hmm. are jewelry and shoes cute i feel like any other thing you can thrift yeah. I mean, like, not necessarily. There, I can think of other things in your wardrobe that you shouldn't thrift, like mm -hmm. bathing suits. I never can really thrift. Yeah. Obviously, like underwear or whatever. Yeah. And jewelry, like, you can thrift, but I feel like you should get, you should thrift fine jewelry. Fine jewelry. Like, costume jewelry is going to turn you, it's going to infect you. Yeah. Like, whatever. <laughs> Even just, like, worn kind of cheap. Yeah. Whatever. And then just, like buying new jewelry that's like plated or whatever is never gonna last mm -hmm. i say this never having bought fine jewelry in my entire life because i straight up can't afford it yeah and so i like ride out my plated jewelry for like the months that it lasts and then i like yeah. get a new one whatever but if you are sick of that you don't know what to ask for for a birthday yeah. or you've got a pile of cash lying around I feel like having like one fine jewelry, necklace and earrings, just like one set, totally. especially actually I do have one piece of fine jewelry and I like inherited it I or whatever. I was just going to say I inherited this. Yeah. I have all my fine jewelry. I have also inherited, which is like yeah. two or three pieces. But. And I sh like it's, I shower in it. I sleep in it, everything. And it's not tarnished, turned me anything like it Amazing. must be solid gold. Yeah. I don't even know for a fact that it's fine jewelry, but it must be because I've worn it for be. years. Like it has to be. Yeah, and I get compliments on it all the time because yeah. it's like it looks. 
I feel like any kind of gold that isn't fine jewelry, you can tell. It's either too orange tell. or it's too green. Like, yep. they don't get it right. 100%. And it's either too shiny or not shiny enough. Like, never looks good. 100%. Never. Looks good. Yeah. On that, so I have this necklace, like, fine jewelry-wise. That's the other thing is when you splurge, like, you can just have it be like your thing that you wear you know what I mean? yeah like, exactly i have like little hoops that i little gold hoops that i inherited i wear them all the time uh-huh obviously my ring is fine jewelry and it was a splurge but like yeah it's a ring it's a ring a um, wedding ring if you're also, not watching on youtube <laughs> yes exactly not a wedding ring a marriage uh, ring a, a marriage <laughs> engagement ring. engagement ring, ring. <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> it's an engagement a ring. marriage ring <laughs> <laughs> why don't they call it that though um also i just off of the inheritance thing i yeah. wanted to point out these mugs <gasps> are from our great great grandma is that the coolest thing so ever so cute i'm obsessed mm -hmm. with that a couple of episodes later one of us drops and breaks one don't worry we have more. multiple yeah. yes <laughs> oh but i was gonna come back to oh, shoes, shoes shoes like it they i don't care about them being like design or whatever yeah but they have to be comfortable yeah. i get shin splints so easily mm. and like not all of my shoes are like arch support shoes yeah but just cheap shoes aren't comfy are if they're just like clapping around like plastic yeah. on the bottom like target shoes mm -hmm. yeah, like heavy and hard do you know what i'm saying oh uh, yeah i was thinking light and hard picture like a cheap pair of flip-flops that's not like rubber yeah like heavy and hard Ooh. do you know what i'm saying yeah but also picture like a wedge that's like light and yeah hard and it's just yeah. like it's plasticky and you like slip on the floor because yeah. it's like that's yeah. true also like faux leather there are like these cowgirl boots that mom bought when mm. we went to lost valley one year a dude ranch and dad sent me a photo of them and was like, do you want these? I'm going to get rid of them. And I was like, I want them because they're actually really yeah. pretty. But then he like sent a closer up photo and they're just like, <laughs> if you rubbed it, they would disintegrate. Yeah. So bad. That, like, like fake weight Fake almost. leather anyway mm. is just not something to buy. Ever. I totally agree. Thrift it. Yeah. If you, like if you don't want to spend money, thrift it. Exactly. I wanted to end on something I don't think you should splurge on. I kind of yeah. have mixed them in now that I think about it. Yeah. But the one thing I wrote down that I will never again splurge. Actually, no, that's not true. But that I never will think is actually worth it. Okay. Is getting your nails done. I'm passionate about it. I'm so with you. Because $80 to have nails that don't look good past two days. Yep. I don't care if they don't chip. Your nails, your nails grow. grow out. Yeah. I don't know if my nails grow rapidly. Rapidly. But I'm like, why do people what? Yeah. I seriously don't get it. Yeah, I absolutely hate it. I got fake nails <clears throat> like twice. And they mm -hmm. they they suck you in because they look awful when they fall out or they grow out. And yeah. the only way to like make them look better is to either have them look ugly for like two months while yeah. your nails get strong and grow again or to just get them done again mm -hmm. but i got like fake ones for my birthday last year yeah not that long i just wanted them nice and i wanted them a certain shape that like yeah. my nails are too short for and they looked so good day one and two mm -hmm. and then literally after that they looked like trash yeah and i had my high ropes job where like i had to like open and like bring the ladders down and stuff yeah. at the beginning of the day and there's like this really thin rope that's like you have to pull really hard on to like unclip it from the yeah. ground and my long nails i had to squeeze so hard because the rope was They're really like puncturing thin your hand and they were puncturing my hand they hurt so bad Ow. yeah yeah wow. it was like actually a thing that happened the one <laughs> it was, it was an event <laughs> for my hand yeah the the last time i got my nails done was in spain with mom uh -huh. i've told this story so many times it's so fucking dumb but <laughs> we went and they fucking hacked my fingers to shreds they were bleeding they like were bleeding everywhere were bleeding. like as she was doing it i'm just looking at it looking at her <laughs> looking at mom like I'm bleeding. yeah I'm like, oh, I'm bleeding. she's like so pretty i'm like I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Oh my god, it was so bad. And then they weren't at all what I asked for. No. I asked for gel. She did what is it called? Dip. Dip is the worst mistake they were you could make. So fat. Thick. 
Yeah. It was ridiculous. They're ugly. They were all different <laughs> shaped. They were so ugly. Yeah. Like the main shape she did was so ugly. Did not ask for that. Uh-huh. And then they were also like just fucked. Jagged. I was yeah. like, thanks. And then mom like tips them. And I'm like, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, I mean. Bleeding, Phoebe. Yeah. Bleeding. And like there were chemicals all up in the, like, in the I cuts. was literally afraid I was getting infections. Gross. Like, I'm sorry if I sound like a Karen, but if it were up to me, I wouldn't have tipped. Interesting. I would not have tipped. Yeah. Because she didn't even say anything. Yeah. She didn't say like, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. She didn't like. Did not give a shit. She didn't give a shit. Yeah. She didn't like offer to give me a discount. She didn't offer to like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. If you're providing a service mm-hmm. and part of that service is not to. Hurt you. Hurt you. And then she ends up making you bleed. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, but that's on you. Yeah. You're not getting. I'm not giving you more of my money. Yeah. Sorry, I'm st- I stand firm. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I also just think, like, I knew girls in high school who would, like, weekly get manicures. Yeah. And so, like, when they were chipping, they would be like, oh, I need to get my nails done. Yeah. And I always was like, what do you mean you need? Like, we just didn't mm. grow. There are, like, things that we splurge on, like we said yeah. this entire episode. But we just, like, never grew up getting, getting our, our nails, nails done. done. No, it was, like, special if we went, like, before homecoming or yeah, something. Yeah, which, like, I feel like is normal. No, it is. But I think just, like... Some of your this, friends were really rich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, and so I would always just be like, what do you mean you need to get them done? They're yeah. fine. Like, even chipped, they're fine. Yeah. But, like... I understand now it understand. more being like, ew, they feel gross. They yeah. look gross. They when turn yellow. Yeah. They like, especially when you get like acrylics or dipped or even whatever, they start to peel up at the edges, like the sides of your nail and they turn yellow. Like, yeah, it's so gross. But when I don't have anything on my nails, even if they're uneven, even if whatever, I never look at them and be like, oh, I need to get my nails. Like they never no. bother me. I think so. I They bother me. Really? But I think I need to take this the fuck off and cut my nails. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Like that. But yeah. I just mean like the sight of like undone nails. I'm like, they're fine. Oh, no. Yeah. Completely agree. They I just don't like when they're chipped yeah, or grown Because out. when they're chipped, they look dirty. Yeah. And when they're plain, they don't. They look clean. They look clean. It's simple as that. It's as simple as that. I'm totally agreeing. Okay, good. <laughs> Anything else you wouldn't splurge on? I should have thought more about that. Oh my well, God, that there's probably a lot prompt. of things. I know. It wasn't. You did extra credit. Yeah. Honestly, like, there's a lot of home things that mm-hmm. I wouldn't splurge on just because I know, like, and I say this, but sometimes I'm lazy and I'll splurge on them anyway. Mm-hmm. But, like, so many things for your house that you could thrift. I just, just sometimes time. get impatient. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. If you had all the time in the world. Exactly. Which, like, a lot of the time you kind of do, but it's like, do I really want to live in a basically empty house for that long yeah. while I, like, wait to get the perfect thing? 100%. In an ideal world, yes. Yeah. But sometimes you just got to do it. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I think, like, as a general, my general rule when it comes to, like, home things is if it's, like... Um, what's the word like fabricy? Uh huh. Then I would rather splurge if it's like hard, hard wood. Exactly, I would rather thrift. Yeah, hundred percent because yeah. you can clean it so easily. That's exactly, all it is, is cleaning. Exactly. Okay, well, I feel like we talked about that for I a know. long time. I think so too. Yeah, I think that was a great episode. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Um, yeah. So don't forget that we are on YouTube. If you're not currently mm-hmm. watching on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. It's at classlesschaps.podcast. Mm-hmm. If you don't know, we come out with a, what are we calling it? A bonus video. Every Friday. Every Friday. And they're just silly vibes. So hopefully you've been enjoying those. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that's a wrap. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>